next task 5 in this task we are going to implement an azure load balancer in front of the two azure virtual machines in the hub network log into the azure portal and search for load balancer okay create a load balancer and i'm going to okay i'm going to create the new resource group rg4 and the name of the load balancer is the 10406 lb4 and leave the region as a default and select the type as a public and select the SKU as a standard and the basic standard okay leave it standard okay click review and create validation failed Okay, go to basics. Um, yeah, next uh, front end IP configuration. Add a front end IP. Okay, LB front end IP version IPv4. IP address create a new public IP. Six dash PIP four. And click OK. Click Add. Click Next to Backend Pool. Add Backend Pool. Okay. Give the Backend Pool name. C one zero four. 06 lb4 dash backend 1 and select the virtual network vnet 0 backend pool configuration ip version and uh, we have to add the virtual machine so we'll select vm0 Click add and add a VM1. So these are the two virtual machine in the subnet we have added. Okay, next to click add. Okay, add a load balancing rule into the name. In IP version, front end IP address just uh, created protocol TCP and enter the port as 80, backend port 80. Select the backend pool we just created. So there is no health probe available. Let's create the health probe. Enter the name for the health probe. Protocol TCP port 80. Leave the default interval unhealthy threshold 
and click OK. So we have created the health prop. Session persistence, leave it none. Idle timeout manage for TCP reset disabled floating IP address disable okay and click on add click next let's click review and create Okay, so validation has been passed. Click on create. Okay, so let's wait for the load balancer to be created. Okay, so the deployment has been completed successfully. Go to resource and note down the uh, public IP address. Just copy the public IP and open it in the new browser new tab okay so now we see the message coming from VM1 and I'm going to open a new incognito window and type the same put the public IP of the load balancer and it should refresh uh, to VM1. Maybe I can try in a different browser. So you should be, uh, you know, the load balancer should be uh, route the traffic between VM0 and VM1. Let me just try Edge browser. Okay, so now it's uh, getting the hello world message from VM0 and from the Chrome browser I'm getting from VM1. So the load balancer has, uh, you know, diverting the traffic between VM0 and VM1. So that's all in this task. Um, next task 6, we will see how to implement Azure Application Gateway.